You put sun cream on. It's out of here for like 20 minutes at least. yesterday in Lazouche. We're back on the road. One quick night at home for me and now on the way to Zurich Airport to catch a flight to Bulgaria. Next stop is Bansko. There's going to be a lot of races from here. We've got Bansko, then we got two in America and then we're back in Europe for Gransagora. So there's a lot coming up. Never been to Bansko so uh, excited for this one. Once I got to the airport I met up with the other boys who'd come from La Zouche that morning and the journey began. You are three? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, over there is the other team so we will go to work after. Americans. Excuse me, can we get a separate vehicle? <laughs> oh, Dave's arrived with I'll pink get eye. Stuffed. Dave's in Bulgaria with pink eye. <laughs> Question is, where did he pick up said pink eye? Snuggle situation. So. That's all right. We can definitely do a bit of jiggling. It is snug, but it's definitely very comfortable. Look at this, we've got a huge TV. <laughs> it was a nice, easy journey for us, arriving at a good time in our four star plush hotel. The coaches, however, they were going to be driving with all our kit from Germany. The boys had an 18 hour drive between them, crossing Italy, Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, and finally arriving in Bulgaria at 1 a.m. For our first day, we had a day off. A perfect time to get out and explore Bansko. You put sun cream on. Made for this. <laughs> Should we get this for day? <laughs> Little espresso cup. It definitely wasn't like most ski resorts we end up in. Skiing day two in Bulgaria. Oh, I've got a it's bit pretty of swing. Was pretty soft yesterday. Had a bit of track to deal with. So I put down some water. And we are not sure if it's frozen. So uh, we're going to have to wait and see. Yeah, it does look like we got some swing. Swing and a borderline freeze. Lovely. Excellent combination. Norway is setting today. Don't we, start. We went before them yesterday. Uh, and we got a little... Uh, and they weren't so happy about that. Laurie, stick out your hand. Um, I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> oh. Anyway, they weren't happy. So they're probably going to try and punish us with a nasty course today. But little do they know, we are the nasty course. We will eat this course up for breakfast. You were merely made in the dark. I was born in it.
mixing up drivers here we got steep in the corner excellent driver dave riding chauffeuring us back after training rolling back rolling back because we've got no fuel next up was how we spent pretty much every afternoon in bansko we found a haven Lily. Yeah? If he's a naughty boy. Oh. Charlie, think fast. <laughs> Put that thing down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if it goes above, you join. Oh, really? Oh, so, like, shit. Okay. Yeah, go again. Oh, that's nice. Really good connection there. What are you doing? Trying to, like, the camera's in the way of your foot. Nah, nah. Mate, yeah, I've got it. I'm trying to film it and get my foot out of the way. Ben, do you filming everything? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this toy. Look at that. This is the evolution power file. Put any treat point. <laughs> Wait. It's talking real smooth on these edges. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, night before the race and my birthday. Oh. I didn't feel much today of the training, but Jeez was racing and we went up for a few runs. I don't think it's on the video yet, but Doris and Rosiana from Pier have come to watch the race. Big supporter of the team and helps us out a lot and he's here to come watch us race. And he ends up with a big part in these videos. If you haven't seen, I'll add some clips in right now. <laughs> Hello chaps, thanks for coming in this early. We have a missing person and MI6 is not available. My appendix, my dumpling, be assured you have a trader in your mitts. And for my birthday, they got me this little guy. Traditional Bulgarian thing uh, to ward off evil spirits. So hoping this brings me some good luck for tomorrow. We are shooting off straight after the race. We have a shuttle as soon as we get back down, so that means Gonna have to pack stuff up now so it's not a mad rush tomorrow. So that is on the agenda. Lily's very packed up packed up over on his side. My stuff pretty much everywhere. Okay, left it as long as possible in team hospital team hospitality until I came out because it's raining. That salt's gone down. Now it's time to head up for inspection. A few things this morning. Walked outside and it was raining. Then realized I'd forgotten my gloves. Luckily, spare gloves were in the bag. Hallelujah. And Alan is looking moist. <laughs> inspection is finished and I'm over at the warm up slopes having it with a prep. They're doing water salt. And they've salted the warm up here as well, so it's going to be a good sort of test. Get used to the track because there is one already. And so Billy is actually ranked 
in the 30 in at this race, joint 30th. So although he's bib 31, he is actually in the 30. So that's quite a cool uh, milestone for him. Uh, but that also means today he's on the same program as Dave because they do top 30 for a certain warm up, and then after the after the 30 for another warm up and, an and a slightly later inspection time. So. I am on my own. Me and Al battling it out. Oh, it's started snowing. It was rain slash snowing. Eased off, and now we're, we're back in. <laughs> here for like 20 minutes at least. Umaning and Iring, is it a fair race? We could have been down by now. Could have been long down by now. You're soaking. Soaking wet, now the race is cancelled. <laughs> yeah, it was a good week training. And that was all she wrote in Bulgaria. Very disappointing, but all that was left was to pack up and get ready to fly home. bit of an anticlimax really wasn't it everyone there at the top was pretty annoyed and frustrated obviously we hadn't been down so we didn't know what it was like all we could see was the snow looked okay like it didn't like we definitely had much worse um the track didn't look too bad but what we didn't see was the how bad the viz was when you're getting all the snow and rain coming down sticking to your goals and then all the snow slash water splashing up when you hit each gate and so apparently you just really couldn't see that much down there the field was split with who thought it should be cancelled and who thought you know what this is ski racing we've got to do it in whatever the conditions it's kind of difficult to decide which one i think <laughs> if they replace it I'm, yeah I'm, I'm okay with the fact that they cancelled it but if they're not going to replace it which i haven't heard yet and they haven't replaced valdez air I'm going to be annoyed because that was, you know, an opportunity to qualify and make points. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you thought. I know watching, you couldn't really see that much. The cameras were pretty covered, but if you think they should have cracked on, let me know. Or if you think they made the right call, put that in the comments and uh, I'll be interested to see who thinks what. But that is the end of this week's video. 
And as always, I've got to announce the giveaway. And this week, what is on offer is the suit. And so the winner this week is Oscar Jones. You've won yourself a suit, uh, send me a message on Instagram and I will get that sent to you. Um, as uh, per usual, I'm still uh, working on the everything else that's been won. <laughs> uh, that will, it will get to you, just bear with me. Technically no race this week, but we'll still do a giveaway. Found some Head Rebels t-shirts. I was planning to give away two, but actually, I want to keep this one so I'm the winner of one of these. I'll throw that back there. And so this guy, World Cup Rebels top. You would have seen me wear these all the time in the videos. It's a size medium. The way to win that is to head down, drop a comment mentioning Rebel or World Cup Rebel and then head over to my Instagram and on my latest post. Uh, hopefully I've actually made a new post on Instagram by now because it's been a little while, I need to be better. Um, head over to Instagram and in the comments, mention Rebel or World Cup Rebel and you could win this t-shirt. Very cool t-shirt, that's why I'm keeping one. Also, I forgot to mention, if you're new to this channel, head down and subscribe. And if you haven't heard about my Patreon, go over there and, and check it out. It, the link's in the description. Uh, I post all sorts of uh, extra content on there, looking more in depth at things. Uh, looking at equipment, uh, all my all my ski video goes on there as well. So uh, a lot of extra content on there and requests and Q and A's and things like that. So head over there, check it out and, um, and join up. So that's it. Next up is America, actually flying tomorrow. So stay tuned, see you next week. <laughs>